Whoa, what's in here? Oh my god, this is the floor. Yes, we're allowed in here. My name's Chris Dunn. I do what I want. Hello. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> I guess I wasn't allowed in there. Whatever. I'm going to miss Hong Kong. Why are you going to miss Hong Kong? It's a beautiful place. It's, there's nature in your city. It's yeah. got a little bit of everything. It's so organized. It's definitely worth it. And we weren't sure before we got here if it was going to be. Yeah. Totally worth it. I'm not even ready to, to go. But uh, we're heading to Tokyo. So no time for sadness. Epic Journey is still rocking and rolling. <laughs> Shinjuku. You cold? <laughs> I guess it is a little bit cold, but who cares? We're in Tokyo! This is the biggest damn train station I've ever seen in my life. I have no clue how to get out of here. Oh, cool. This is the, uh, this is the famous intersection. Damn! Tons of people out there right now. They look like ants, just following each other. So we just started exploring Tokyo. It's day one. We're out in uh, the Shin Shinjuku, Shinjuku, right? Shinjuku. Shinjuku area where we're staying. And the first crazy thing I see is that casino. Guys are in there like pounding on the button, and lights are going crazy. That was like senses overload. Yeah, senses and cigarette smoke overload. Oh, here's the other side. It's like pandemonium in there. But we're gonna go to the top of the Metropolitan Government Building and check out the sky view of Tokyo, Tokyo. anything brother jacket my lovely red jacket <laughs> Nikki spent a whole year in that jacket from Iceland to Africa to Europe to Asia so we're just gonna go explore and get some grub and hang out yeah let's go get some sushi Sweet, man. It just keeps going, like, for blocks and blocks and blocks. Kind of puts New York to shame, yo. 
sushi and more sushi and it looks like they actually have inglese so we can read it and go eat and not eat something crazy I'm really excited about this our first Japanese sushi experience this is the one restaurant that actually had like a, a English menu. Hey, happy, happy wine. First sushi in Japan. What's the verdict? Ridiculous, guys. It's good, right? Absolutely insane. I'm not a big raw. Oh, I know. So this is. This is an adventure. How is it? I can't tell by the faces you're making. What? It's like a filet. Really? Mm, they keep piling more stuff up here for us. We've got some crab and other fishes that I don't really know. I don't care. I'm gonna eat them. It's really good. Nice. So Nikki is deathly afraid of robots and like big scary looking things and for those of you that have been to Tokyo, you've probably heard of the robot restaurant or whatever. Apparently there's like chicks in bikinis dancing that look like robots or something and people come out in robot outfits. I don't really know, but you want to check it out? If it's a tourist attraction. <laughs> if it's touristy. By the way, the sushi we just ate was amaze balls. We just killed this whole menu. This is like Not their, really. This is like their fast food sushi, and it's like our best. I know. Sushi. It's like their their low level sushi is like the best we get in the states. All right, let's get off the loop. thing about Japan is their snack selection yo we're not used to these kind of snacks it's insane shut up guys I know you in America are used to having so many choices 
What's yeah, that? but we're not used to that anymore. Yeah. Who needs choice when you have adventure? Man, that wasn't too convincing. Today, we're going to watch sumo wrestling. There's a big tournament. Apparently, it happens just a few times a year. We're lucky because we're here during the tournament time. I'm going to th throw you in the ring. <laughs> what was That's that? That's my sumo wrestling. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're here at the Sumo Wrestling event, and I just met up with my buddy Scotty T. How's it going? Scotty. Real good, real good. Yeah. Best sumo I've ever seen. <laughs> and I know you're an avid fan. You watch every weekend. Don't you? So if you and I might have a new profession in our future. I know, I gotta eat a little more rice. 